Migration Introduction Human migration is the movement by people from one place to another with the intentions of settling permanently in the new location. Migration has played an important role in history. It is associated with settlement, economic use of the land, development of productive forces, education and the mixing of races, languages and peoples. The movement is often over long distances and from one country to another, but internal migration is also possible. This is the dominant form globally. Migration may be individuals, family units or in large groups. Nomadic movements are normally not regarded as migrations as there is no intention to settle in the new place and because the movement is generally seasonal. Among the earliest migrations were the spontaneous resettlements of ancient tribes which took place throughout the world. These settlements, which lasted for thousands of years, were accompanied by the peaceful development of new territories. Later, as the primitive communal system declined, production developed and the population grew, mass movements of people took place as a result of clashes between tribes. External, major intercontinental migrations took place after the great geographic discoveries. From the 16th through 18th centuries, a considerable part of America was settled by free immigrants from Europe and by Negro slaves from Africa. Interstate migrations associated with mass recruitment of cheap manpower, primarily in China and India, for work on foreign plantations in Southeast Asia and in East Africa became important in Asia during the first quarter of the 20th century. A unique migration known as the brain drain, which is associated with the luring of highly skilled specialists from one country to another, began in the 1930s, when the USA had a monopoly on the opportunity to select refugee scientists from fascist Germany. Considerable migrations took place during and after World War II. Many migrants were refugees or displaced persons. An exchange of population took place between the newly formed independent states of India and Pakistan, which had been carved out of the British colony of India. Researchers divide factors causing migrations into two groups, push and pull factors. Push factors are things that were or are unfavourable about the area that one lives in and pull factors are things that attracts one to another area. Push factors, not enough jobs, few opportunities, inadequate conditions, desertification, famine or drought, political fear or persecution, slavery or forced labour, poor medical care, natural disasters and loss of property or livelihood, pollution, poor housing, landlord or tenant issues, discrimination, war, etc. Pull factors Job opportunities, better living conditions, the feeling of having more political and or religious freedom, employment, education, better medical care, attractive climates, security, family links, industry, better conditions for family life, etc. Types of migration The term migration refers to movement of people across international, state, district or other borders on a permanent basis. Thus, migration is made up of two terms. Immigration This refers to people moving into a new place that may be a country, a state or district or a natural area from the original place of residence. This is also called in-migration. Emigration This refers to people moving out to a new place that may be a country, a state or a district or a natural area from the original place of residence. This is also called out-migration. The important point to remember is that the terms immigration and emigration are complementary and also opposite to each other. Rural to urban migration 
This is the most common feature especially in our countries these days. As more opportunities of education, health, employment, recreation and modern lifestyle is available in towns and cities as compared to rural areas, there is a regular wave of migration from villages and small hamlets to urban areas such as towns and metropolitan cities. Also, with mechanization of agriculture and change from subsistence to commercial farming, there are fewer agricultural tasks. This accelerates rural emigration. This is also called as rural flight. Historical Review The onset of the Industrial Revolution in Europe in the late 19th century removed many of the checks that had previously constrained urban populations. As food supplies increased and stabilised and industrialised centres moved into place, cities began to support larger populations, sparking the beginning of rural to urban migration on a massive scale. The United Kingdom went from having 20% of the population living in urban areas in 1800 to more than 70% by 1925. Urban to Urban Migration The migration has two distinct sides. On the one hand, people migrate from small townships to metropolitan areas with the objective to avail better economic opportunities and experience the high-end lifestyle associated with metropolitan regions. On the other hand, people migrate from core metropolitan areas to smaller suburban towns or even satellite towns to escape from the busy and often difficult metropolitan life. The latter is also called suburban colonization. Suburban regions or greater urban areas such as Greater Toronto Area, Canada and Greater London, UK are some examples. Urban to urban migration is a limited feature depending on the specialization of some urban centres in a particular economic activity, thereby creating a pull factor which polarises professional and skilled workers in a given area. For example, urban centres like Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Chennai in the south and Noida Gurgaon in the north are specialised in the IT industry. These have created a pull factor for migration of IT professionals and skilled labour force from other small and medium townships of India. On the contrary, metropolitan areas also create a push factor for retired and senior citizens who are unable to cope up with the stress of metropolitan life and migrate to suburban or satellite towns. Unspecialised workers and small businessmen living in metros also migrate to suburban areas for better family life and economic gains respectively.